It's developing tonight. We're working to learn more about a violent dispute at a pro-Palestinian rally today in Riverside. Police say one person snatched a megaphone from another person and hit him in the head before throwing the megaphone into the river. News for Jack's reporter Alicia Hatcher joins us live from Memorial Park with more. Scott, the pro-Palestinian community has had a several peaceful protests since the war in Hamas in Gaza began. This was the first rally where things escalated. Since the conflict in Gaza began, local Jewish and Palestinian communities have held peaceful rallies to support their country. On Sunday, things were different. A protester got into a disagreement with a counter protester, according to the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. The man took the megaphone from the woman, hit her in the head with it, and threw the megaphone in the river. The protester then reached into his waistband and pulled out a gun. An officer witnessed part of the incident and took the protester into custody. Detectives say the man will be charged with robbery by sudden snatching. Will he also be charged with assault as well since he did hit her with a um, megaphone? All right, so that's a good question. The assault is actually part of the robbery charge. Otherwise, it would just be a theft. So the robbery is the um, taking the, you know, stealing something by using force. So that's an element of it. Duke says the sheriff's office supports people's First Amendment rights. We want protesters and counter protesters to be able to peaceably speak their mind. And that's part of the great country that we live in and the freedom that we get to have. Um, the issue is when you, you can't break laws. When people become injured and property is broken, that's where, that's where the line is drawn. Alicia Hatcher, Channel 4, The Local Station.